Welcome to Chuck Builds. I recently installed this 110 volt mini split air conditioning unit in my garage from Sinville and I have to use this remote to control it and I don't love that. I have to have it close pointed directly at it with the infrared blaster and I don't get remote control and I couldn't get into Home Assistant so we had to fix that. Ordering a chip online from Ukraine of all places for $20.99 after shipping and tax. It took about a week and a half to show up and it gave me great control over this Sinville in Home Assistant, but there's a few hiccups along the way. I wanna tell you about it, so let's dive in. So the product that I'm using is from SmartLight. They have a website, smartlight.me. It is a Wi-Fi module based on an ESP32 chip that is connecting to your unit via USB. This is what it looks like. It's very compact. And if your mini split looks like this on the inside or has a USB attachment for a little board, um, that's where it plugs into. And it'll give you home assistant settings, temperature and all that, but we'll get to that in a minute. It is made for the Mydea brand of mini splits and their subsidiaries. I installed it on a Sinville mini split that I purchased on Amazon. There's a $50 promo code. It was pretty easy to install. I might cover that in another video. This was the 120 volt version, 12,000 BTU, and it works pretty good. And I've got full control through this app with this dongle. They shipped great. They're very communicative. They sent me this invoice uh, picture via email literally the same day that I ordered it with the device printed out, shipping label, ready to go, instructions, and then it arrived uh, shortly after. They included instructions. That is all you need to know to get this set up into Home Assistant, and it worked great. Highly recommend. I was a little sketched out getting this company overseas. They were solid. I'd have no, no issues ordering from them again. So here in the middle, I have the wireless dongle from smartlight.me for my Medea or Sinville, which is a sub-brand of Medea mini split air conditioning unit. This on the left is the Sinville Alexa enabled wireless dongle that came with the unit. And then this on the right is what the unit has as its board for the USB to plug into. And I wanted to show you a little bit of trouble I had. So I, I have two cuts, two notches here that I tried to cut out and failed, but you can see that with those two areas that I have plastic there on the unit that was shipped to me or on the USB dongle that came with the unit, we have these little recessed valleys on the side there. So my first attempt was to cut that into the unit or the dongle from smartlight.me and realize there's just not enough space uh, too small in there and so I didn't do it there and instead I cut out these little white plastic tabs from the receiving end on the Sinville mini split unit so we kind of see up in there I've got my phone on a magnifying glass so I apologize if this looks weird but I cut the tabs down in there so that I could, would be able to plug these in to one another. And it's not great, but it goes, it fits, and best of all, it works. I used this box cutter that was narrow, but it was small enough that I could get it inside of here and just cut along the edge and get those plastic pieces loose. And those pieces are here. While we're here, I just wanted to ask if you happen to know what this is called or if there's an adapter for these little cutouts, I would love to have an adapter instead of recommending that y'all cut these. I couldn't get the USB to plug in, couldn't figure out why, looked closer, realized those notches were there. I did a pretty in-depth search looking for some kind of adapter and couldn't find one. And I also don't know what that kind of USB port is that has those little notches in it. I'm assuming it's some kind of security port, but if you know an adapter for that, please let me know so I can put that in this video. So we're just gonna pop the front lid open. And we're gonna locate this plastic unit here. You can look through here and see that there's a USB port, but we will just take a screwdriver to remove this screw. And then pull it out at an angle and be sure not to lose our screw. 
And then we will locate the two clips here and just pop them open. And it will reveal our USB module. And you can just pull it out. It's not screwed down or anything. And then just carefully remove this white plug. And then now you're ready to go make those cuts. Once you've cut the tabs out from this USB receiver, we will then reattach to the wires. Click it in there, kind of line it up to where it'll be snug. Get the excess wire poked through there. Clasp it shut. Line it back up through the hole. And then take your screw and put it back in. At this point in time, you can take your USB dongle that we ordered from SmartLight and just plug it in. You'll get a flash of blue light and let's go set this thing up. To set up Wi-Fi on the dongle, you should get out your device and connect to AC-Wi-Fi and type in the password of the model number of the dongle. Once you're connected, you can go to the IP address 192.168.4.1 and then select your Wi-Fi network and type the password for it to connect. Once it connects, it'll automatically restart and be on your network. So from here, we'll go to Home Assistant. Inside Home Assistant, you'll go to your integrations and then add integration and type ESP Home. Set up another instance and then paste the IP address of the device once it's connected to your home Wi-Fi, not the IP address that you, we used earlier to add it to your home Wi-Fi. I'm going to keep the default port and click Submit. Popped up right away with air conditioner and then we can choose an area and I'll put this in the garage. Once we have our ESP Home integration, we should click on that and then go to the device. And then we're gonna click Visit right here to open up the online dashboard for the ESP Home on the dongle. And we can currently see we're getting a stream of data. I could not factory reset this for this video, so I'm just gonna do my steps again. But we're here to do an over-the-air update of the firmware. So we will go to the smartlight.me website and go to the device again. Uh, there'll be a link for this in the description. And we'll come down here to the downloads and then we're gonna grab the firmware module. So once it's downloaded, we can open the file, the zip, and we'll have a bin file here. I'm just gonna put that on my desktop. And we'll go back to the ESP home for the air conditioning dongle. Click choose file and then select the bin and then click update. We can see here on the right, this green one going by uh, was the OTA update and it's sending the file over the air and then we get update successful. And then I'm just gonna delete this update from the IP address up here and press enter and we are back on our mini split page and now inside of home assistant we should be able to see this if you couldn't previously and we can see our mightya climate you could rename that if you wish so i will say mini split and we've got the current temperature and then what it's currently set to we can add this to our dashboard with this default card and this one actually works pretty well for me, so I'm gonna just add it. And then in our dashboard, we can adjust our temperature by dragging the slider. While this thermostat card works, I like to personally have mine look slightly different. And so if you would like to do that with me, we'll go to Hacks and then Front End and then Explore. And we're gonna look for the simple thermostat and then just click on it and then click download in the bottom right. Download again when it pops up and reload. So then on our dashboard, I'll click edit dashboard, add card and then entities and then show code editor. And I'm gonna put my own in there and I'll put it in the description. 
And I like this one because I get my presets quickly down here for eco or regular function. I think it's just a little, little cleaner to stack sometimes. Uh, it's up to you what you prefer, but this is another option out there. Thanks for watching. I hope that you were able to get this ordered and installed with no problems. I really recommend this product. It's much cheaper than a Sensibo and it is much more robust than just an infrared blaster. I really like that I can see the temperature in the room and take advantage of special functions of the device such as boost or eco mode. If you have any issues or need any help, let me know and join us on Discord. I've got a couple of social media sites up now and a couple more videos in the pipeline. Thanks for watching.